Today we're talking about proper ball position with your driver. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And one of the simplest and easiest ways to increase your distance off the tee with your driver is to learn how to hit up on the golf ball. And in order to do that, you got to have the ball in the right place. Now, hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. This is the place for you. If you love golf, US Golf TV is a community for you because we're putting out great content each and every week. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to ring that bell so you get notifications and always leave a comment. I answer all of those because I love hearing from you. So let's dive right into this. We're talking about the driver, we're talking about distance, we're talking about ball position. All right, so first of all, here's what we got going today. We're gonna talk about, first of all, what are, how do we reference ball position? Because that, that can be confusing. You got to understand that because there's some real secrets I'm going to share with you on how we reference ball position. Then we're going to talk about what are some of the uh, telltale signs that maybe you would see that would tell you, hey, I do have the ball in the, wrong, in the wrong spot with my driver. Then I'm going to give you a simple process, a one, two, three step process to help you guarantee you get the ball in the right spot. And at the end, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite all time uh, drills when it comes to my driver that works all the time. So let's dive right into it. Ball position with the driver. We know this, that we want to hit up on the golf ball. All right. Now there are some golfers, PGA Tour pros, great amateur golfers who do hit down on the golf ball a little bit. But the truth of the matter is, is that those who do that, they've got a ton of club head speed and they can get away with that. If you're watching this video, that's probably not you. You've got to be hitting up on it so you can maximize your distance. Now, let's talk about where should the ball be? How do we talk about ball position? Well, first of all, typically when people talk about ball position, they talk about where is the ball relative to their feet. All right, that's the most common thing. So if somebody says the ball is forward in their stance, what they mean is that the ball is towards their lead foot. If somebody says that the ball is too far back in their stance, they mean that the ball is towards their trail foot. So those are the two differences in terms of when people are referencing their feet and ball position, they're talking about forward and back, they're talking about front foot versus trail foot. All right, but there's also other ways that you should be referencing ball position. As an example, where should the ball be relative to your body? All right, so should the ball be off the zipper? Should it be off the logo on your shirt? There's lots of reference points that you can use in terms of your body. And that's a key component that we're going to dive in pretty deep in terms of where we want that. All right. And then the other one that you can reference is where's the ball relative to like your head? Is it off your ear? Is it off your eye? Those types of things. So what you want to learn early on here is when we're talking about ball position, ball position is not just where the ball is relative to your feet. It's where is it relative to your chest? Where is it relative to your head? Where is it relative to the shaft angle? These are all key components that we're going to cover here today. Now, how might you know if you have the ball in the wrong position with your driver? Well, here's some things you're going to see. Number one is you're going to probably see a ball that's spinning a lot. And anytime a ball that has excessive spin on it, it's not going to roll out as much and you're going to be losing distance. So easiest way to know that is if you hit a shot and when the ball gets to its peak height, it just falls straight to the ground and there's no roll on it. That's probably a pretty good sign that the ball could be in the wrong spot. All right. So that's the first place that I would look. Contact. Obviously, if you're hitting them on the toe or the heel, you're not hitting them in the center of the face. That could be another place. Or if you're hitting them too high up on the face or low on the face. Basically, if you're not hitting the ball in the center of the club face, that's probably another indicator that the ball could be certainly in the wrong spot. So let's start talking about the specifics of where we want that ball to be. Now, one of the ways that I like to track my ball position with my students is I use my rhymer here because it's great for uh, ball position, whether it be driver or short game. But I use it for a variety of different things. And of course, today we're talking about drivers. So first of all, here's what you're going to do. We want to get that ball forward enough so that as we're coming in contact with the golf ball, that we hit slightly up on it. All right, now in order to do that, here's the process that I want you to go through. You're going to take your feet and you're going to put your feet together. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is get my feet together and I'm going to get the club head up in front of me. Notice how I'm gripping it up in front. I'm doing that for a couple reasons. One is to make sure I've got a good grip. And if you've got questions on your grip, we've done a ton of videos on that. You can reference those. But also make sure your club face is square. The thing about drivers is, is they've got some roll and some curve up on the face here. So lots of times golfers put their club down and it's open or it's closed. So I like to bring it up front. A little bit of a side note there. Get your grip right. Get the club face squared up. And then what I'm going to do is put the club right down by the ball. 
and I'm going to take my lead foot, which is my left foot, and I'm going to separate it just ever so slightly. Notice just a little bit of a move there, and then I'm going to make a big step back with my right foot. Now what this is going to do is going to position the ball definitely forward in my stance, more off my lead heel or my lead toe. Let me go through that again. Clubs up front, get that club face squared up, dial in your grip, feet together, little mini step forward, big step backwards, that's going to get the ball in the right spot relative to my feet. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Now we've also though talked about where's the ball relative to your body. Not just your feet, but what about your chest? Well, here's what you want to make sure in ball position there. When you got that spot, you got your feet right there, right? You want that ball to be positioned off the inside of your lead arm, kind of like right in through here, all right? That's where you want that. So when I'm looking at a reference point as a coach, ball position, I'm looking at, first of all, where is it relative to the feet? Then I'm like, where is it relative to their upper body? So notice here, all right, I've got that right there. Okay, I got off my lead arm just on the inside of my arm there. All right, now I could have the ball in the right spot relative to my feet, but if my upper body is over here, now it's more off my zipper. Okay, this is good ball position for my feet, but it's really bad ball position for my upper body. That's going to be a disaster. All right. Another thing, let me give you one other tip here up here on your head. So that's ball position for the feet. There we go. That's ball position for my upper body. Now how about your head? What I want you to do with your head for ball position is I want you to take your lead ear and tilt it just a little bit. Notice how my lead ear went up. My trail ear went down. Okay. That also moves my eye line a little this way. That's another key component when it comes to ball position. So we want to hit up on the ball. We've got to get the ball in the right spot. Where is it relative to my feet? Where is it relative to my body? And how do I angle my head to do that? That step process that we went through there is going to help you a lot. So I promised you this. Hopefully, if you've got any questions on that, be sure to let me know because I'll be happy to answer those. And I promised you here at the end, I'd give you one of my favorite tips when it comes to driving. And this is one that I've used for years. So here's how it works. It's super simple, and I guarantee it's going to help you. So you already know your process. Get the club up, face square, feet together, a little separate. And I got my rhyme here. This is beautiful because I got the slider right here. I can see right where it's at. Okay, a little step back off the lead arm. Ears tilted a little bit. Okay, now what you're going to do, the tip is, is before you swing the club, start your swing, just hover it above the ground just like this. Notice how I've got the club just hovering back behind the ball. Now a couple things happen when you do this. Number one is, is that it sets the tone for swinging through the golf ball. Think about it. This is the only club that every time you hit it, the ball's in the air. When you hit a three wood, when you hit a four iron, you hit a seven iron, you hit a pitching wedge, the vast majority of the time, unless it's a par three, that ball is on the ground. But every time you hit this club, the ball is teed up in the air. And it's teed up pretty high, quite honestly, all right? So when you're set in there, get the club and just hover it above the ground. And it'll set the sensation of swinging through the golf ball versus down on the golf ball. The second thing that happens is it really helps with rhythm and tempo. Because when the club is, when the club is in your hands and it's hovering, you have to bear the weight of the club. When I put the club on the ground, the ground is bearing the weight of it. Okay, when I hover it, now I'm actually bearing the weight of the club. And what this does is it really helps smooth the takeaway and can really help you in your transition. So just taking that driver, hovering above the ground will give you the sensation of swinging through, but also really help your rhythm and your tempo. So when we're talking about ball position, next time you go to the golf course, ball position is important. But it's really important in terms of understanding where is it relative to my feet, where is it relative to my body? Where is it relative to my head? All right? So when you go to the golf course next time, here's what you're going to do. Get the club in front. Get the club face squared up. Get your grip dialed in. Put your feet together. Separate your lead foot just a little bit. Big step with your trail foot. Make sure the ball is off your lead heel. It's also off the inside of your lead arm. You're going to take your lead ear and tilt it a little bit. And you're going to use that nice little tip where you hover it above the ground like that, and you're going to go ahead and make your swing. What you're going to see is you start hitting up on the golf ball, which is going to increase your launch, decrease your spin, and help you start adding some more distance.